not her. Well, let's take you to Karen, who is outside the courthouse for us in Pretoria, following the case very closely. And Hedy now, Karen did not let up right until the end. No, Lucy, he didn't, and he finished his cross-examination of Oscar Pistorius with a very stark summary of how he, the state, believes the events went that night. Oscar Pistorius must be very relieved. Five days of cross-examination, his seventh day on the witness stand, and now, once again, I've seen him sitting in the dock as the other witnesses uh, now are heard from. At times, he has his eyes closed. Uh, he must be a very relieved man. Let's just sit here how Hedy Nell ended the cross-examination, hammering out the points uh, that he believed happened one by one. I'm putting to you that Johnson, Berger and both Stips heard Riva's blood-curdling screams, not yours. I don't agree, my lady. That they heard that when she escaped from you. You shot four shots through the door whilst knowing that you're standing behind the door. That's incorrect, my lady. That you knew that she was talking to you. That's incorrect, my lady. She locked herself into the toilet. You armed yourself for the sole purpose of shooting and killing her. That's not true, my lady. And, and that's what you did. Afterwards, indeed, you were uh, overcome by what you've done. That is true. That is true, my lady. Only because it was your intention to kill her. You, you realise that. On the opposite, my lady. And that was the end of Oscar Pistorius's cross-examination. He remained on the stand for his re-examination by his own lead defence counsel, Barry Rue. And uh, Barry Rue asked him to clarify what he'd meant when he said yesterday that he'd fired those four shots accidentally. You remember, the prosecution raised that and said, hang on, you said it was accidental, but you've also said that you fired at an intruder because you thought there was danger coming at you. It can't be both versions. So the defence tried to address that and clarify that because that had been seen as a weakness in their case. And what Oscar Pistorius did before his re-examination finished was to read out a letter and a Valentine's card that Reva Steenkamp had written for him before Valentine's. Remember, she died in the early hours of Valentine's Day. And in that card, which uh, said Aussie on the envelope, uh, it said, uh, now's a good day or today's a good day to tell you that I love you. So uh, the defence wanted to end on that, that to be the lasting, lasting impression of uh, Oscar Pistorius's uh, evidence on the stand. Uh, a loving relationship, they say, a relationship which has nothing to do with the, the image uh, that the prosecution have been trying to put forward all through this cross-examination uh, and their allegations that Oscar Pistorius shot Reva Steenkamp on purpose uh, after a very heated argument. So uh, we're hearing now from another defence witness, uh, a, a scientist, talking about the light and sound conditions on that night. But Oscar Pistorius, uh, a very relieved person to be off the witness stand, one can imagine. Lucy. Karen, thanks so much for updating us.